The day has finally come where I got seats. Everyone's been asking me when I'm gonna do stuff to the interior of the Mustang, and today is finally the day. So, I got some Braum Racing seats, and Braum was very nice to sponsor me this year. So, that's really awesome of them. Uh, I talked about what I was gonna do with the build and some stuff that I can't really show you yet on the Mustang that's getting done uh, over, over here to the side, uh, but, these heats are gonna go in today and I'm gonna show you kinda how to install them, how to set it up and just a overall review. So let's unbox it. So this is the Braum Racing Alpha X seat. Uh, they just released this, I believe last year it was and I saw them and I really, really wanted them. So I started talking to them about the build and they said that they would join. Uh, I did the black leather with it has carbon fiber inserts and carbon fiber you'll see it right there with the light but the whole back this is all carbon as well uh so in the box you have to order seat brackets separately uh obviously they have them there on the website everything they're made to the car so these are made for the mustang and everything uh but you also get the sleep adjuster now these are not power seats like what are in the mustang already those are the power leather uh heated and cooled seats so i'm gonna lose heat and cooled which i'm not worried about i don't drive it in the winter and in the summer i don't really use the cool seats so these are gonna probably save quite a bit of weight because those are really heavy with all the electronics uh it comes with a little bag of bolts and everything to attach this on your two sliding rails and there's some bolts under it already uh to hold those on I believe but we're gonna start getting started and I'm gonna try to make sure I can film as much as I can on the process of how to get this done after doing some research online I figured out that so to keep your airbag light off and to keep your uh, like seat chime to make sure your seats buckled to keep that off and not do that you have to take out the old wiring harness and you have to keep obviously the connector where the seat belt clips into the i believe this is the uh seat rail position sensor and you have to keep the pressure sensor now this one is looped from the factory i figured this out through a couple people online and then these two wires you have to loop together with like a two ohm resistor they say works best and then it'll make it so that it does not uh keep your airbag light on all the time so this is the driver's side now I have the driver's side seat already marked up and everything just trying to figure out how everything went together I'll show you how everything goes together on the passenger side but I do not have a resistor yet so I'm just going to do for the passenger side harness I'm going to zip tie it all up under the seat make it all real nice so it's not in the way show you how that's all done, show you how that seat is assembled, and then later on I'll just put a, a wire in a 2 ohm resistor there and then uh, set the seat in. But today I'll just mock them up so that you can see what they look like inside the car at least. When you get the new seats too, they come in a sweet bag all covered up by wrong. It's like a drawstring bag. So you take that off. And you see wrapped in plastic so nothing gets hurt by it. Which is super sweet. They do a great job of bagging everything up. Kind of one handed. So now like I said before, these are carbon back with leather. Uh, they have a couple different options. So now I opted to do their raised center section here. Uh, they have a flat section, they have this in cloth, full cloth, they have these in, I think, red, white, like red, These all these would be red or all these would be white, uh, but I chose to do the carbon and everything, but it looks really great, the quality of these things are amazing. Uh, I had some people say that they were amazing from what I could tell, uh, some people said that they were nervous about them, but from what I see, I don't see a problem at all you know this is just from the cold weather with the leather but it'll come into it when the sun and everything hits it 
they're great quality it's not a fixed back and it was all manual adjust this is not a power adjusting seat so we will be losing some weight I might weigh this before I put it in I don't know the other ones are super heavy because they're all power heated and AC these are not heated these are not AC seats uh, which I don't use anyways so the first thing you want to do is get your sliders on now there's four of these bolts in the seat bottom you just take them out now you can see there's also kind of hard to see but there's a couple adjustment places in there so you these seats are pretty adjustable I put mine the furthest forward spot which would be the furthest back for when you're adjusting it just because I have a taller friend that usually rides with me a lot I believe I did the same on the driver's side I'm gonna double check but after that you tighten them down and then you can compress your side your handle there uh, and you want to make sure your rails are going in the right direction that when you want to adjust your seat you have to pull up on the handle and not push down on it that's just how I've always, that's how most seats are, so that's how I'm doing these ones. Uh, I guess you could do it the other way if you really wanted to, but yeah, that's how you do that so far. Now, this is the driver's seat that I already assembled. You can see there's a lot of adjustments on the bottom and everything for it. And what that does is, so on the Mustang, you actually have to offset this a little bit so that it doesn't get too close to the center console and so that you have room for your seat belt connector. So, on the Mustang you have to put them in that hole, in that hole, as you can see here, one on the bottom, one there, and one down lower, because those rails have quite a bit of uh, adjustments, adjustments as well. The seats are officially all in. Uh, they look really great with the yellow belts and everything. So, but I'm not sure if I'm going to need a small spacer to push these bottoms up a little bit. Uh, I'll have to see after I drive it a couple times just to see if uh, it feels like right now that this doesn't give me enough support on the like under my knees basically. So I'll have to see about that and we'll find out. But no, they look great. They fit well. Uh, I was able to put a 2 ohm resistor in for the airbag and everything and that all works. So yeah. Looks great. This side as well. It'll be awesome to give a little review after I drive with them a couple times. And they have the option for a harness if I ever want to do it. So, thank you for watching the install of the new Brahm seats. And I'll do, like I said, I'll do a review later on uh, this spring when I get to drive and sit in them for a while. Do a couple long rides and see uh, how they feel after that. Thank you so much.